I don't know why I was invited to perform here tonight. I don't do anything related to noise, so it was probably a mistake. The other artists that are playing tonight are real noise musicians, especially Karkowski, who is considered by many to be a kind of hero of noise music. Anyway, since I accepted this invitation, I wanted to learn more about noise music before coming. After reading several texts, I was especially surprised by something I read in Wikipedia, the Spanish version. I tried to translate it into English. Although noise music is noisy in the general meaning of the word, it is not noise for the people that usually listen to it. I repeat it. Although noise music is noisy, it is not noise for the people that usually listen to it. This means that for noise music listeners, probably many of you, noise music might be noisy, but it's not actually noise. So I was wondering, out of curiosity, what would be noise for those of you that listen to noise music? What would be noise for the noise audience? I read several texts about noise and I came across this quote from Merzbo. Merzbo, according to what I read, is the most famous noise musician ever, which is a sort of contradiction, since other texts say this about Karkowski. So I can't assure anything to you. Anyway, this guy Merzbo said, if by noise you mean uncomfortable sound, then pop music is noise to me. If by noise you mean uncomfortable sound, then pop music is noise to me. That's when I had this great idea. If pop music is noise to Karkowski's normal audience, then I should play pop to them. Then you will have Karkowski making noise music, noisy music, not really noise, and me making noise, all for the same price. However, the problem here is clear. I can't play pop music, and although it wouldn't be so difficult to learn, I didn't have the time to do so. I was invited here no more than a week ago, and although I think that a week should be enough to learn how to play pop, I had other things to do. The other option was just to play a pop song from a CD. I must admit that I was tempted to do so, but I quickly discarded the idea because since the concert takes place in a contemporary art center, the people in the audience are not only the usual noise listeners, but also artists and intellectuals who nowadays like pop because it makes them feel more intelligent somehow. Therefore, 
I won't play a pop song tonight. But let's go back. I got an invitation to perform today, probably by mistake, since I'm not into noise music. I spent some time reading about noise and discovered that noise music is not really noise for the usual noise music listeners. I wondered about what would be noise for them and thought of doing it, since it would be good to have both noisy music like Arkowski's and real noise in the same night. So what would be noise music for the noise music listeners? Mesbo says pop music, but I can't play pop. I mean, pop is not like noise that everyone can play it. It's a bit more refined. Let's say that pop is a week more refined than, than noise, since you probably need a week in order to learn it. Refine. I think it's a good word to say if you are in France. Refine. In any case, after discovering that I didn't have enough time to learn how to play pop, I thought of playing a song from a pop CD. However, I discarded that idea too because of reasons that I already exposed. I'm confused and have quite a few questions. Aren't two noise musicians noisier than one? Can noise be added to noise? Are there degrees of noise? What is the threshold at which noise stops being noise? Is it possible to point it out? This is noise, this is noise, this is noise, this is not noise anymore? Is high volume, volume necessarily is high volume necessary in noise music? If I play noise music at a very, very low volume, would you still call it noise? Maybe quiet noise? Why noise musicians use so many electronic devices? Do you know that with a small percussion instrument, I could play a louder sound than what you could play with all this paraphernalia? Could a noise album be bad? How a bad noise, noise album is? Wouldn't a bad noise album be noisier than a good one? Or maybe the best noise albums are the bad ones? I'm still confused. I decided to change the strategy. I would collect several passages of text written about noise music about which I was uncomfortable, and I would ask the organizer of this event to analyze them with me. This is a great idea, because not only it would be very useful for me to understand this text better, but also because if the audience doesn't like the action, I can always pretend that I was aiming to make noise. So, if this is okay, I would like to invite Martin to come here and tell me what he thinks about these quotes. Whatever the result will be, please remember that what you will hear tonight after me is not noise, but noisy music. Okay, thank you. Um, maybe I will read it out loud and then you can...
you can just say whatever you think about them. Consider the majority of messages coming from popular culture in its film, books, music and lyrics. Young people are being told that the only future they can expect is the future of depression, unemployment, heroin addiction and more and more crime. I don't think people are getting impressed these days. I think this is more like a quote from the maybe 70s or 80s. But um, there's been economic crisis from September 2008. And even, yes, there is a lot more unemployment, but um, I don't see that many heroin addicts around. Maybe I'm not in that circuit. Um, no, I think people are just very busy communicating with each other. And so enough what they do in their everyday life and they seem to be happy with that. Yeah, I think times are changing very much and this is an quote. I think people are happy with their sugary futures. Yeah. Um, the other quote is, I see intellect as a barrier preventing us from realizing the true values in our lives. I see it as an inhuman faculty. The real art communicates before it is understood. It contains the knowledge that all men once had, a knowledge that today is unfortunately often ignored and forgotten. I believe that our life is magical in its essence. <laughs> <laughs>